Hey guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super English dub reaction. So we just did episode 61. It should be up by now, so check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And yeah, we're going Jumping on to 62. Right in, 62. Um the last how the last episode ended like kind of blew my mind because yeah. trunks. What is this form? Why does it have a touch of divine energy? Mm -hmm. You know? It's like there's divine energy circling around trunks and then like regular Super Saiyan energy surrounding the divine energy. Yeah, so, so is it like what where is this where is this going to this yeah, form spectrum? In, in the is it before blue? You know? Right? I mean Is it after three? Super Saiyan three? Did, he didn't even reach Super Saiyan three. He so made a I don't jump? Know. Yeah. Can you you can jump, right? I mean I don't know. Vegeta I mean, kinda jumped. He yeah. never reached Super Saiyan three. But he went yeah. To, yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, it was definitely interesting, and I definitely want to see what they say about this form because yeah. I'm curious as to what it can do, how much damage it can do against Rose. Will it, will it will it even make a dent? Yeah, because I mean, full Super Saiyan Blue, yeah, and a touch of whatever extra Goku had <laughs> going on right there. Last like, episode. Last episode. I mean, it made some damage but it kind of just in the end helped rosé get stronger so is this gonna do the same thing are we just going in a cycle like you know you understand what i mean like i just let's just get on with this video and see what they say about it because i want to know already <laughs> i'd like to see you try you say it idiots never give up he looks badass in the form i'll give him that he does but we'll see if it actually does, does something does sacrifice, sacrifice? <laughs> see yeah i can't believe it oh shit okay oh well he's holding his own yeah but for how long And there's that. Because they have no problem teaming up. Oh, oh shit! Can he. Can he deflect that shit? Alright. Nice. Kiss your project goodbye! <laughs> That's not gonna do mm -mm. anything. That's too easy. Yeah. That's too easy. As much as I I applaud Trunks. He's still on his feet. See? I'll admit I didn't think you were capable That's too of easy. this level of power. Trunks, hang on! Oh, oh man! No! Uh Father, no! Well, Trunks is... Oh my god! Yeah. His 15 minutes of fame. fame. Up. Yep. I can't just go! Do you take me for a coward? I'm not going to leave you here! No, he's right. It's the only way to save his future. Do you agree with this? <laughs> take the sense of beans and just go. Get the time machine ready. Damn. This is called a tactical retreat. Definitely. Don't worry, I'm gonna make sure he survives. There's no shame in tactical retreat. Especially when you're dealing with somebody whose body is Im is yeah. indestructible and immortal. No, you don't. They kind of have their own cheat, so. Don't you die. So what, they're like what? 0 and 3 or 0 and 4? I think it's 0 we'll and 4. It's Dad! Mom! And Goku! And Big Me's not in there! So he stayed? Well that must mean the future changed, right? <laughs> No. Nope. Oh my goodness! Didn't I tell you, Dad? Oh, you oh, are wrong! Oh, you are so wrong! Nah. You what? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to face the wrath of Boma! 
blackened Zamasu on a rampage. We walked into a nightmare. They almost blew us. His face. me. Still fighting. He stayed and took them on alone to give us enough time to escape. So it didn't change. Honestly, I had a feeling that might be the case. Wow. Wow. We didn't believe you. Well, it was insulting, but Trunks made a convincing argument. <laughs> You're not really helping the situation. Yeah. Harris. How can you be so? No, 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 no. What the fuck? Come on. Stop. If we waste this chance, Trunks stayed there for nothing. I know. But yeah, don't punch Beerus. The fuck? You might as well just kiss your planet goodbye if you do that. <laughs> oh, come on, Vegeta. I'm already <laughs> Fucking toss him. He just threw his body. Get a stretcher. Come on, Whis, we're leaving. You're just walking away? I already eliminated Zamasu from this reality. If he's running around a different timeline, that's none of my business. Yeah. Business. yeah. People can do whatever you want from here. Oh, come his, on! His universe my is Lord safe. Spoken. Good luck. Dad, wait. Don't follow me, boy. I need to boy. Think. That's such a popular word yeah. recently. With Kratos. Boy. Yo, Goten hasn't been hanging out with Trunks for the Trunks? last 20 episodes. I know. Goku's missing. What? He's what? grounded? He come home. Dad will come home eventually. He always does. He should come home now. Huh? Uh-oh. Uh Is that Trunks and Goten? After bedtime? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> The answer is obviously no. You kids are strong, but you don't even have a chance against them. They're too powerful, even for Goku. <laughs> but we want to do our part. <laughs> she didn't say Vegeta. I get how you feel. I do. But you going there won't help. Just let Goku handle this. <laughs> <laughs> You're not crediting your husband. I know, right? Not doing nothing. So for the last time, leave it to Goku. He's our best child. Oh my god. We can wait here and see him off, okay? <laughs> Mom! I'm Boma! Uh-oh. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Cut! Boma, what are you hiding from me? <laughs> nothing! I'm hiding nothing! Boma! Uh, oh, oh my gosh. gosh! Not only did he take my body without even asking, he killed Goten and Chi Chi with my own hands! What?! You mean Goten is dead?! <laughs> <laughs> Which, yours is fine. fine to me. Zamasu guy is bad and he takes Goku's body. You with me? Then he crosses timelines to the version of reality Trunks is from and teams up with the Zamasu who exists there. Then they start decimating. They look like Chichi dolls. Chichi dolls. Or Chichi Chibi. Doll. Chibi dolls. What the fuck? I hate to admit it, but we can't defeat them head on. Okay, so then what can we do? Figuring that out is the whole reason we came back. Well, yelling at him is <laughs> But we have to do something. There's one way to win. Oh, really? Oh, enlighten us, Piccolo. Containment. Care to elaborate? There's an ancient technique called the evil containment wave that Master Roshi tried a long time. Sounds familiar. King Piccolo. Not ringing any bells. You 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 trapped them in like this thing, this rice cooker thing, right? You trapped them into something. The evil containment wave. How do I do that again exactly? Master Roshi can show you, right? <laughs> oh yeah. I'll gladly show you myself. No, nah, that's cool. Roshi's the expert, right? See ya. Wow. Well, Rude much? He could still show us if you want. What? It's just as simple as that. Yeah, you trap them into something and then they're sealed. Like, I know about it because I played this um, DS game called Attack of the Saiyans. Uh, and in that game, it was a rice cooker. Uh, you travel in the jar. rice cooker, yeah. Some kind of jug. Poor turtle. Isn't this animal abuse? This is definitely animal abuse. Okay, third time's the charm. This is modeling a butthole. <laughs> what the fuck? 
The Earthlings have been condemning my lord over his miscalculation, and now he feels responsible, which is quite a rare thing. That's oh, he feels responsible! Yeah. Obviously, I could annihilate both versions without even breaking a sweat. But that would require jumping through space-time, which is forbidden for destroyers. Understood. I will do all I can. It's my duty. All this is happening because I chose Zamasu as my apprentice. A grave mistake. What? It, it, what the? So, so, after watching 61 and 62, now I really, really regret delaying 61 because it was a better episode. Yeah. For fuck's sake, man. What am I doing? What are we doing? Yo. So, uh, we didn't get much out of 62. Yeah, basically, like, Goku and Vegeta and Bulma just explained to everyone what's, what happened. What's been going on, what yeah. happened. Kind of caught Chi Chi up on everything, which. Everyone up, yeah. Well, yeah, everybody. Chi Chi has been out of the loop the most, so though. Forever, yeah. Which is like, why? What? Because she would have, like, Because she would be, like, worried and everything. Like, wouldn't want Goku to leave. And it's and more of a headache for them to deal with Goku it. Goku needs a real job. Piccolo gave them the idea to do this containment force energy thingy majigger trapping Evil them. Evil containment wave or some shit like that. Basically. Anyways, you... Goku was practicing on a turtle, which was basically animal abuse. But, um, but yeah, they, they, the plan is to trap the two of them into this little mug jar thingy majigger and then, and then you seal, them seal it with rope and just like what just, they did with King Piccolo back in Dragon Ball days so, before Dragon Ball Z. Um, I like it. I you like think it. it could work? Yeah, I mean, it's the only way I, they can't beat him by force, yeah. you know, physically, so just fucking seal them. Yeah, and then destroy know? the thing, and then there you go, No, right? don't destroy the thing, because then it'll release it. You can't they'll... destroy them while they're in there? No. Oh. You keep them there forever, you seal it. Oh. You don't destroy it, because then they'll come back. Okay. I thought the idea was to seal them in there and then you destroy the thing and then they're done. Like they're dead. No, as far as I know, you just fucking keep seal that them. hidden let them forever. Marinate in there, basically. Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, I like that route. It's it's um back to the OG days. It's OG days, but it, yeah, very, very classic days. Like I didn't see it coming. I thought Goku would have to ascend to another level. Like what's you know? always been happening. That's what he's been doing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it works, it works, right? If, yeah. Because they they don't have any other option at this point. Because it's not like Beerus or any of the other gods are gonna be able to travel through time. Because then that's another. Taboo. Oh, that that's what I'm curious. Also, like, what is Beerus gonna do? Right. Because he actually feels guilty. Obviously, like he doesn't want to show everyone that yeah. he feels guilty. But what is he gonna do? How is it gonna affect, you know, this whole thing? Yeah, exactly. With, with Goku's evil containment, whatever, and then whatever uh, Beerus is planning, you know, how is it gonna? How is it gonna work? Coexist. And like somebody has got to, you know, at least inform Beerus. Like, cause I feel like, what if they try to do something and then it kind of like bounces off each other and doesn't work? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I I just want to know what Beerus's plan is. We know what our heroes have, you know, are planning and doing, and they're about to take off. Mm -hmm. But like, Beerus actually feels responsible, and it's just kind of like odd. He actually wants to help without having to let everybody know. Yeah. And not cause another taboo. Yeah. But at least he's working with um, the Supreme Kai, so you know, there is that and he has we if yeah, if if Goku's plan uh, and Vegeta's plan doesn't work, there's always whatever Beerus, Beerus is, plan. is planning. And then if that doesn't work. Cause uh, there's a difference between trying to contain a turtle and two pretty much indestructible gods. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like yeah, Goku is able to trap a turtle but Obviously, it's a different story with yeah. Zamasu and Black. Because so. you have a turtle, which is pretty harmless. Yeah. And two very harmful, dangerous people. Yeah. Gods. So, not yeah. people, but gods. I feel like Go uh, Beerus's plan has a 
higher, higher chance, chance of working. Because <laughs> gods with gods. Yeah, but he's gonna have to do it without time traveling. Yeah. What if they get? What if? What if they can get? Um, the two Zamasus to come to our timeline, and then destroy them there. Yeah, but how are you gonna do that? I mean, he's followed them before. That's true. And then there's, you only have a limited amount of time before they get sucked back to theirs. To yeah. their timeline, yeah. But then there's still that issue with the time ring, which I don't think they caught Beerus up with that. They said that, you know, he wasn't destroyed, but they didn't say that the time ring Well, was they know he's there. wearing it. Because they've noticed that from day one. I know, but, saw Goku Black. but the fact that that is the sole reason why he didn't get destroyed. Oh. That's the thing. I feel like that also is a roadblock. Because then if Beerus already tried to do it by killing him in this timeline and it didn't do anything because of the time ring, what, what are the chances that they're going to be able to do something again because of the time ring? Yeah. If they, maybe if they would, I don't know, I just feel like they should have kind of not excluded that piece of information. So anyways, what did you guys think of this episode? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Ray. I'm Danny. And we'll see you in the next video.